Welcome to the Crypto Bootloader Training Series. In part four, we'll discuss MSP FRAM advantages, an overview of the tools, and a summary of the Crypto Bootloader. Crypto Bootloader was implemented on the MSP430, FR, 59XX, and 69XX. This is a 16-bit RISC microcontroller from Texas Instruments with different features such as an AES-256 hardware module, a 12-bit ADC with up to 16 channels, five 16-bit timers, up to two UARCs, four SPIs, and two I2C, the option for an LCD controller, and up to 128 kilobytes of non-volatile FRAM. This technology allowed TI to implement a light yet powerful, flexible, and easy-to-use bootloader. Security and robustness. Even though the bootloader resides in main memory, and not in a specific memory location, similar to other MSP430s which have a bootloader in ROM or reserve flash, we can protect the bootloader from corruption by using the Internal Memory Protection Unit, or MPU. This module restricts write access to the bootloader area even when executing the application. The FR59XX and 69XX features an IP encapsulation module which can be used to protect any read accesses to IP-sensitive information. In our case, the whole bootloader, including the most sensitive information, which is the keys, is protected from read access, even from the application, or if JTAG is enabled. Now, it is also important to remark that, in order to provide maximum security, the device's JTAG and the default bootloader, aka BSL residing in ROM, are completely disabled. As mentioned before, the FR59XX and 69XX has FRAM instead of flash. The first advantage of this technology is that it offers a virtually unlimited endurance, that is, number of write cycles, with up to 10 to the 15 cycles. This compared to flash's typical endurance of 10K basically eliminates that concern from the programmer's mind. Easy to use. The bootloader provides a method to update the encryption keys which is not only simple, but improves the security of the implementation. This easy implementation is achieved thanks to FRAM's second advantage, which is granularity. FRAM provides the capability to write single bits without having to erase large memory sectors. This allows the bootloader to be able to easily update single bytes without having to perform a sector or mass erase of the device. Thanks to FRAM, we can also write the interrupt vectors directly without having to worry about vector redirection or proxy tables, which are usually needed for bootloaders implemented in main memory. Flexibility. Crypto Bootloader provides multiple invoke sequences, including same entry sequence used for MSP430 default bootloader, assert a GPIO during reset, jump from application, blank reset vector, incomplete application download. The current implementation uses two of the most common and simple to use interfaces, I2C or UR, but not at the same time. The code can provide optional backwards compatibility with MSP430's default bootloader, or these commands can be completely disabled. Thanks to FRAM's flexibility to change its code and data partitioning, developers can grow, shrink, or modify the bootloader as needed allowing you to add different communication interfaces, modify the protocol, change the encryption method, and etc. Effectiveness. The current implementation of the bootloader takes less than four kilobytes of FRAM, including code and constants, and less than one kilobyte of RAM, including the stack. Finally, according to our bench tests, the bootloader can update memory at speeds of around 5.35 kilobytes per second. This is with a device running at 8 MHz, which is the default frequency for the bootloader. And considering the latency of the communication interface, which is UART, at 115,200 beats per second, and using the authenticated encryption method aided by the AES module. This throughput is achieved thanks to FRAM's fourth advantage, which is its write speed of less than 50 nanoseconds, which is up to 1,000 times faster than Flash or EEPROM. The Crypto Bootloader solution includes not only the firmware for MSP430, but also a set of tools to enable faster development and deployment. The typical firmware update flow would consist of the following steps. 
First, the product manufacturer creates an updated version of the application. It's important to remark that Crypto Bootloader was designed in such a way that the considerations for application development are minimal, but they include limits on the total amount of main memory that can be used or MPU usage. This new application image needs to be encrypted using the authenticated encryption method described in previous slides. The Crypto Bootloader solution includes MSP BSL Encryptor GUI, which allows developers to encrypt an application using a friendly and intuitive interface. Since the application image itself and the encryption keys are sensitive information, the first two steps must be done in a secure environment by the product manufacturer. The encryptor GUI generates an output file which is sent to the field. Note that this image can be sent through an insecure channel since an intruder can't do much with this file without the decryption keys. The encrypted file can now be programmed into the device by a host which can parse the file and send it to the MSP430. Note that the host doesn't decrypt the file since the MSP430 does that, but it just acts as a dumb BSL host transmitter. Two tools that can be used for this purpose are the BSL scripter and the MSP BSL, also known as BSL Rocket. The BSL scripter is a tool which was already available for other MSP BSLs, including MSP432, MSP430F5X family, or MSP430FR59X products. But starting in version 3.1.0.0, it now has support for the crypto bootloader protocol. BSL Scripter will simply parse data and send crypto bootloader commands through a COM port, but it needs a programmer tool which just acts as a bridge to access the physical layer, which can be UART or I2C. The BSL Rocket is a low-cost option that can be used for this purpose, but any tool compatible with MSP BSL can be used. Finally, the commands and data sent by the programmer tool are received, decoded, decrypted, and programmed by the MSP430 updating in this way its memory with the new application. The Crypto Bootloader is a light but effective and robust solution to improve the security of your application updates. The cryptographic approach using authenticated encryption with symmetric algorithms provides a reliable method to prevent against common attacks, while at the same time it's light enough to be implemented in microcontrollers without a significant penalty in performance, memory, and energy. Features such as anti-downgrade checks and the capability to update keys in the field help improve the security even further. And since source code is available, developers can customize the solution as needed. Crypto Bootloader is currently implemented in the ultra-low power MSP430 FR59XX and 69XX family of microcontrollers. And the complete solution, including software, documentation, and companion tools, is available now at ti.com.